Hi, welcome back to Dear Beautiful. I'm Lucy and today I'm going to be talking about something that I feel quite experienced about. We'll go into that in a minute. I'm actually doing today's video in collaboration with Johnson's. They have a new campaign which is called Welcome to the World and it's all about opening up the doors of motherhood or parenthood generally and kind of saying, do you know what? We've all been there. In a lot of ways, we're all in the same boat and sharing those experiences so that we can support each other along the way, which is definitely something that I firmly believe in. I have decided that I'm going to talk about siblings because obviously I have three children, so it's something that I feel pretty experienced about now. And I think it's something that a lot of people can feel quite anxious about when you're expecting your second or your third child and how you're going to introduce them into the family. There are three key ways that we have worked both times with introducing the new baby and introducing siblings to one another. Okay, so my number one tip is about that very first meeting. When I have introduced both of the baby girls to their older siblings, both times I made sure I wasn't holding the baby and I feel like that's a really good tip. It's one that I read somewhere online and I thought it made perfect sense to me so that both times when they came to meet the new baby, initially they didn't see me suddenly holding this this kind of new special baby it was just mummy like normal it was you know hi how have you been i've really missed you while i've been away like what have you been up to can i have a cuddle and then have you seen this baby in the crib isn't she cute this is your new sister so i made it all about the big kids and not the baby so that they didn't feel pushed out and they still felt like I still had tons of time for them and it was still all about them. They just happened to be meeting a new baby at the same time. Number two, don't push them on them. It's so tempting and I was definitely so tempted like, hold the baby, you want that first photo of your children together because you're just so excited that you now have plural kids. But Dylan particularly, when Everly was born, was only 19 months old, he did not want to hold that squealy, wiggly, cryy thing. He was quite happy to stroke her and be near her. He liked to be near her all the time, but he did not want to hold her. On the flip side, when Quinn came home, Everly was desperate to hold her straight away and we went with the flow. But I definitely think that that second tip is don't push the baby on onto them, but also follow their lead. So if they are enthusiastic and they want to be involved, let them be, don't make them afraid. Babies are pretty resilient little creatures and as much as you are a bit worried sometimes that older children might break them, it would be pretty tough for them to break them. So within reason, I basically let them get as involved as they wanted to, or in Dylan's case, whenever he was born, not involved at all. Thirdly, try and keep those routines as consistent as possible. In fact, I found that routine was a really good way to help them bond so a big part of our daily routine is that after dinner we all go upstairs everybody has their bath and then there's a story and then it's bedtime so for us right from day one of bringing the girls home they shared that bath with their brother we had a bath prop in the bath that meant they could share the water we used the johnson's top to toe wash which is really gentle for skin on babies right from that very very first wash and they went in the bath together and i've always found that bath time is a really good bonding time for the children even now and my kids are now six and four and one bath time is the time of day when they seem to play together giggle together have the best quality together time so i think trying to keep those routines consistent for the older children but trying to get the new baby into those routines as quickly as possible really helps for a seamless transition into life with more than one child. So they were my three tips. Number one is getting that first introduction right and not making it all about the baby. Number two is about not pushing the baby onto the older child too much, but letting them get as involved or not involved as they want to. And number three is about keeping those routines key and trying to involve the baby in them as much as possible. I would like to thank Johnson so much for sponsoring this collaboration. We genuinely have used the top to toe wash from day one with all three of our children. This, the smell, 
that Johnson smell for me, as long as I live, will be the smell that I associate with my newborn babies. And I love that about it. I love the fact I can trust it with my baby's newborn skin. And make sure that you check out the Welcome to the World campaign. There are some lovely photos on Instagram and all sorts of things all over social media that will really welcome you into the club and welcome you into the world of parenthood. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again for my next video. Mm.